Hi, everyone. All right. So today we're doing a second half of 1.5, which is all about measuring angles um, when there is algebra involved, when there's not algebra involved, using our angle vocabulary and all that good stuff. So if you're, uh, you've got your note packet, go ahead and turn to the thing that says 1.5b. Uh, we're going to deal with the constructing angles part when I get back. Um, so that part down at the bottom, we're going to get a different packet for that. And we'll talk all about constructions next week. Um, but for this week, we're going to mainly be talking about angle measure and stuff like that. So here we go. Um, the first thing we want to talk about is sums of adjacent angles. So uh, whenever we're labeling something with angles, um, or whenever we're trying to figure something out with angles, we want to label the information that we have first. So we know that this is 86 already. Also, this is supposed to be F for angle F, but it did not copy amazingly, so we're going to fix that real quick. Uh, and then uh, it says angle EFG is 130 degrees. So EFG, if I were to trace it out, EFG is the whole big angle. So what I'm going to do is label that as 130 degrees. And just like with segment addition, when we had like one small segment and another small segment that was attached to it, if we add them together, we'd get the whole segment. The same kind of thing happens with angles. These two smaller angles inside add up to get the bigger angle of 130 degrees. So if I want to find the measure of angle HFG, if I trace that real quick, we go H to F to G. That's this angle right here. And if I want to find that one, all I have to do is subtract uh, the big angle and the small angle to get the other small angle. So we're going to go 130 minus 86. And we should get 44. So that tells me that the measure of angle HFG is 44 degrees. And that would be our answer. All right, so that's kind of a simpler case. Um, let's do another one that's sort of like that simpler case. So um, off of example one, down below it, we have another picture here. Angle JNM is 103 degrees. It gives us these two angles here. We want to find JNK. So pause the video for a sec. See if you can find angle JNK using the exact same thing that we just did right up here. Okay. Hopefully you paused the video and tried it on your own. Um, now we'll go over it together. Uh, so angle J and M is 103 degrees. If I trace it, J to N to M is the whole thing. All right. And we want to find angle J and K. J and K, if I trace it from J to N to K, is this part right here. And I know that these parts are 32 and 24. So all three of these together is 103. So I can take 103 and subtract away 24 and 32. And when I do that subtraction, I should get 47. So that tells me that measure of angle J and K is 47 degrees. Okay, great. So now we have that. Um, now we're going to step it up just a little bit and involve some algebra. We're going to bust out the algebra here for example two. So for this one, same process to start it. It says measure of angle PRS is 98 degrees. So we trace it from P to R to S. That tells me this whole big outside angle is 98 degrees. And just like when we were doing segment addition that involved algebra, we added the two smaller segments still and set it equal to the big segment. So now we're doing the same thing with angles. We're going to add our two smaller angles and set it equal to the large overall angle. So here we go. We're going to set up our equation. We should have 3x minus 8 from right here plus 2x plus 6 from this angle equals 98. And now we're going to go through and solve this. So I've got to start by combining my like terms. Anything with an x in it, we've got 3x and we have 2x. 
which together makes 5x. We have on uh, minus 8 and plus 6. That gives me minus 2 if I combine those. And then it's still equal to 98. All right, so to continue solving here, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So that cancels away the 2 there. 98 plus 2 is 100. And all we're left with over here is 5x. My very last step in solving for x is to divide by 5 on both sides. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. So that tells me that x is 20. And that's part of my answer, but it's not the whole thing. Because we were asked to find measure of angle QRS. So if I go and trace that really quick from Q to R to S, this expression, the 2x plus 6, is what represents that angle. So with 2x plus 6, I'm going to plug in x is 20. So I'm going to go 2 times 20 plus 6, which is 40 plus 6, which is 46. That tells me that the measure of angle QRS is 46 degrees, and that is my full final answer. Okay, next question. Um, we're going to do one that's very similar to it down below. Find the measure of angle WXZ. So, something we need to notice about angle W. Uh, this overall angle, WXY, is that it's got this little box in the corner here. Um, and that box means that it's a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. So that's the other piece of information that we need for this particular problem. We need to know that that overall angle here is going to be 90 degrees. So when I go and do the same exact thing that I did up above, when I set up my equation, I need to know that this overall angle is 90 degrees. So now, pause the video for a second and try setting up an equation that you could use to solve for x with this problem. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and tried it out yourself. Um, so the two components we have here are this 2x plus 1, that's this little angle here, and we have this 7x minus 10, that's this other little angle. So we're going to go 7x minus 10 plus 2x plus 1 equals 90. Okay. So then we're going to combine our like terms just like we did above. 7x and 2x gives us 9x. Uh, negative 10 plus 1 gives us minus 9. And it's still equal to 90. All right, and I'm going to jump down below the words here, and I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So we get 9x equals 99. Lastly, I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides, and we get that x is 11. Okay, but I'm not done yet, right? Because I was asked to find wxz. So if I trace it, W, X, Z is this little angle over here, which is represented by this 2X plus 1. So I'm going to have to plug in 11 for X. So I'm going to go 2 times 11 plus 1, which is 22 plus 1, which is 23. So this tells me that measure of angle W, X, Z is 23 degrees. All right, and that's pretty much everything we need to know for today. So we need to be able to find missing angles when there's x's involved and also when there's not x's involved. Kind of the easier and the more difficult of those two scenarios. So go ahead, turn the page. And on the next page, you should see at the top 1.5 puzzle time. All right, 
And so your assignment for today is to do all of them, uh, one through 10 on the puzzle time. Um, if you finish it all correctly, it should tell you the answer to why shouldn't you tell a pigeon a secret? Um, so I'm excited to find out with you all. Uh, anyways, so we're doing problems one through 10. The first one, first four, you're just using the diagram to identify an angle that's a right angle, an obtuse angle, a straight angle, and an acute angle. So you're looking for all those four angle types. And you'll notice over here on the side where there's the answers, um, you'll see all these ones that are labeled as angles. Um, so I would start with checking those ones and see what does angle AFC fit into? What category is that? Is it a right angle? Is it obtuse? Is it straight? What is it? Um, so start with that one and then go on to the next one and see if that fits into any of those categories and so on. That's the approach I would use for that particular one anyway. Um, Moving along to the next set, five, six, and seven, it says use the diagram to solve for the angle measure, given that angle BAE is 59 degrees. So here's BAE, that's this whole angle here. Um, so we know that all three of these together add up to 59 degrees. So use that information to help you uh, set up your equation. Lastly, Use the diagram to solve for the angle measure given that angle BAE is 130 degrees. So BAE this time, this overall angle is 130 degrees. So now you know that all three of these add to 130. Um, anyways, that's kind of the approach that I would take for uh, starting these. Feel free to work with other people. If you get, if you get stuck, feel free to ask a classmate for help. Um, and I will be back on Monday. So that's your assignment for today. Have fun.